Don't just tell us what you know, show us how you think and who you are, and you're gonna get that job interview almost every time. What's up, YouTube? My name is Michael. Today, I'm gonna be talking about how to ace your job interview. I've done a couple in my life. I got a project management position at Hulu. I was a software engineer at Symantec, and now I'm a public speaking coach at Ultra Speaking, although the last one, I did rig the interview a little bit. More importantly, I've coached a bunch of people on how to prepare for job interviews, and there's a common few common mistakes I see pretty often and that's what we're going to talk about today. So the first one is that people want to show what they know when it's so much more important to show how you think. When you're going in for an interview, so many candidates are concerned about do they have the knowledge, but as the hiring manager, you want to get a sense of the person. You're hiring this person to be part of your tribe, so you don't just care about their knowledge. You wanna see like, who are they? Will I enjoy being with them? Are they sharp? How do you get that across? Well, when you show us how you think, it really helps us to get to know like, we're not just hiring a knowledge base, we're hiring somebody who is sharp. Ramit Sethi talks about this like X factor combo. He gives this advice for creating uh, resumes where he says like, don't just be an engineer. Everyone can be an engineer, well, not everyone, but lots of engineers out there. What makes you different? Maybe you're an engineer with impeccable communication skills, which isn't as common. Or maybe like him, he's not just a finance guy. He's a finance guy with psychology, with the ability to understand people. So, so valuable. What's your valuable cross section? Yeah, you're a project manager, but like, Maybe the thing is that people love working with you. That could be it, but how can you get across your X factor and show us who you are? Is to have stories prepared. I don't mean prepared, prepared, but like think, what are some moments in your life that exemplify who you are? You'll want moments like when you mentored somebody or moments where you pushed yourself really, really hard to get something done. You want to have stories that show your character. Remember, that's what people are hiring you for, your character and your knowledge base. OK, you can't just be up in the air with nothing in your head, but you got to have character as well. And most people don't get that across. So tell us a few stories, a few examples of what you did in your life to exemplify who you are. I love dropping little gems of what I'm reading. I love to drop like, okay, I have a Spartan race coming up. Yeah, I'm really into endurance and mental toughness. And I try to apply that into the workplace like this. Or at the same time, I'm reading the Tao Te Ching and it's all about letting go, which isn't as natural to me. But it's I'm trying to find this balance in my leadership style between being disciplined, but also surrendering and, and letting letting the the, the team run itself. All of these sort of philosophies, things I'm exploring, how can I get that across in my job interview? Because at the end of the day, you just want to show them who you are. You just want to show them how you think. When you go into that job interview, the final thing to remember is to breathe. Breathe before every question. You got a question? Hmm. Take that pause. It show, remember, pausing is perceived as confident. Pausing is perceived as thoughtful. So when you can take that extra second or two for yourself, not only does it send good signals, it also helps you ground and scan your brain for answers. Most importantly, the one intention is to just show them who you are and how you think. And if you do that, if it's meant to be, you're gonna get the job.